Growing international movement to ban traditional plastic grocery bags will become reality in San Francisco at midnight. That's when the city's landmark new ordinance takes effect. Environmentalists are celebrating the ban, but some businesses aren't so thrilled. KTV's Ken Wayne is in San Francisco now with a live report. Ken. Julie, San Francisco becomes the first city in the nation to ban plastic bags, and Oakland, Paris, and London plan to follow the city's lead. Plastic bags are blamed for a host of environmental problems, from clogging landfills to littering streets to polluting the ocean. City leaders have been trying for two years to find a way to cut back plastic bag consumption. Assumption, they finally settled on a simple solution, an outright ban on plastic bags. The problem's huge. When you consider about each municipality, like as I said, San Francisco, 150 to 180 million plastic bags that uh, go through our retailers every year, the tons that go into our landfill. Paper, plastic. Some grocery store owners opposed the change, saying the switch from plastic to paper will cost them an extra four to nine cents per bag. The cost of plastic bags were much cheaper than the cost of the paper bags. And the paper bags that we're trying to use now also have handles, which is an additional cost. Lucky stores in the city are selling recyclable bags for 25 cents. Use them five times and you get your quarter back. Over at Real Food Market in Cow Hollow, tonight is the last night plastic bags are being used. Tomorrow, the market switches to paper and these biodegradable bags, which look and feel like plastic. They're basically the same thing as plastic bags, except for they're made from corn. Um, they break down and, you know, are environmentally friendly. Some customers grumble about the loss of plastic. Plastic, I can grip it better and hold the bag better than I can with the, with the paper. But if I have to go back to the paper, I guess I can get used to it. And there's complaints about San Francisco leaders being too controlling. This is the city, San Francisco. They tell everybody what to do. <laughs> Mom and pop markets are exempt from the plastic bag ban. Pharmacies will have to comply in six months. Businesses that don't face fines of up to $500. Most customers we talked with tonight say they agree with the plastic ban. Many are already carrying their own bags while shopping. Connie Killian uses one with wheels. I think it's great. Um, we can use these that are better for the environment. The plastic ban has already helped at least one business. A website called City Bag Trade is selling reusable bags made from old raincoats. In San Francisco, the grocery bag may soon become the newest fashion accessory. Live in San Francisco, Ken Wayne, KTVU Channel 2 News.